Okay, how y'all doing? I just came in <clears throat> from outside and I saw a coyote. Now, when my husband and I first moved here, I remember the first night we went and visited this house, we actually saw a coyote and it was really scrawny and scraggly and he was just kind of running. And it was like, oh wow, great, there's wildlife around here. Well, I think it was a couple of days ago, my husband said that he had seen a coyote, but it wasn't like the one that we had seen so much before, because we'd still seen really skinny, gangly looking ones. This one was fat. It was healthy. It was like, almost like a wolf. It was so packed with muscle, okay? This thing was like, yeah. So today I'm getting out of the car, just going back to the house, and at the very end of my driveway, there was a coyote, the big fat guy. And... He was carrying in his mouth my favorite neighborhood cat, which happens to be a black cat, and I love black cats, and that was his breakfast or whatever. And he's looking at me, and he's looking at, at my son, and I, <laughs> we stood there staring at each other for the longest time, and then he decided he was going to go. Now, there are these areas called washes where I live where it's basically like a dried out tributary of a, of a riverbed or something, but it's called a wash because when the water finally comes in, it just like washes everything out and it's like a flood or whatever. So he'd come out of the wash ah, at the end of my driveway. So I'm like <laughs> calling my husband, you got to get the shotgun. Blah, blah, blah. And he's like, well, I just don't think our neighbors are going to really appreciate, you know, the HOA is going to blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, it's a coyote. So I'm thinking, okay, what am I going to do? So I was like, all right, should we call it? animal control, wild animal control. So I look it up and this is what they tell me to do. Question, there is a coyote in my neighborhood. What do I do? Answer, you are far more likely to be bit by a domestic dog than any wild animal. However, if you see a coyote near your home, don't ignore it. This may cause it to lose its natural fear of people. To scare a coyote immediately. Make loud noises by shouting, banging pots and pans, or by shaking an empty soda can, which, by the way, I call it pop, and it irritates me even to say soda, can fill filled with rocks. Wave your hands or objects, like sticks or brooms, or try spraying the coyote with a hose. When walking with your dog, never use retractable leashes, as they allow your dog to get too far away from you, blah da da da, -da, -da. If you see a coyote, try to keep your distance. Throw small rocks in the general direction of the coyote to scare it. If you're walking with a small dog, you can pick up your dog or change your route to avoid the coyote. If the coyote is bold and approaches you, try a commercial repellent like mace to deter the animal. Do not feed coyotes. Who would feed? Or other predators. And make sure your neighbors are not providing food to them either. Feeding will only make them more comfortable around humans and that can be dangerous, so blah, 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 blah. That's all I've got. Mace and, and rocks and yelling. Well, okay, I know I can yell, but come on. That's all I have? I'm like very upset. <laughs> I have never in my whole life. And I, I really think it's like something coming back to haunt me because when I was a kid, I used to love watching Roadrunner. I just thought that was the funniest commercial ever. I mean cartoons are not commercial and I guess it's coming back to haunt me now because now I actually live amongst roadrunners and coyotes so yeah I really like being in the Catalina foothills though <laughs> just not the coyotes I don't know they scare me have a great day